what is going on guys in this video i'll be talking about red dead online beta update that uh, was released uh, just a couple of days ago and uh, i'll be talking about my uh, thoughts on it and overall what red dead really added to the game and also what they probably should consider adding as well so um but before i get into that if you're new to my channel i talk about red dead uh, redemption 2 online and just red dead content in general so if you're interested in that kind of stuff definitely head to my channel and consider subscribing and also if you like this video i uh, definitely leave a like and comment below what you think about this new update so anyways they released this update and i've been playing it a little bit and my first impressions of the update was honestly pretty poor like uh, they didn't do very much and nor did they add very much and I think this is kind of half part of uh, Rockstar's plan here with the new update. But uh, either way, I was uh, relatively disappointed and I think a lot of other people were as well. And um, a lot of people I know were just generally disappointed with the Red Dead Online beta. But um, I know I myself have uh, tried to remain somewhat optimistic about it and uh, somewhat positive just about you know the beta experience because obviously it still is a beta you know it's kind of a work in progress but i was expecting a bit more than just simply um you know just kind of making like the single player experience online minus all the missions and all the cool side quests because that was honestly some of the best parts of the single player experience but anyways uh some things that they actually did update um they uh, updated new uh, gameplay so there's uh you can earn gold nuggets and xp for daily challenges and uh some of these challenges are just kind of dumb just quite frankly they're just kind of dumb and almost non-existent and um i really so far have not liked a lot of them um i, I like the fact that you can earn gold nuggets though so it's not just uh, pay to play because uh some things can be purchasable with gold but uh, allowing you to be able to achieve this gold nuggets, I think is actually a good thing. So people are just aren't completely stacked when spending, you know, 50 bucks on a $60 game. So I think that's kind of nice that you're able to earn those. Um, they added uh, fool's gold event, target races, fishing challenges, showdown modes. And uh, so far, um, I, I'm not expecting the showdown modes to be very good or like the gun rush game modes to be very good. Quite frankly, they were really not that great in Grand Theft Auto, and it doesn't seem like they really updated them besides just simply having it in Red Dead Online now. So that's um, kind of bad there. I really do hope they add more um, fishing challenges as well as hunting challenges because I think that can uh, make the game more fun. I think hunting and fishing are definitely one of the best parts of the game. Um, besides that, they added some new weapons, uh, the rare shotgun which is, uh, you know, uh, called, uh, or I guess there's a new one as well, the Evans Repeater. And, um, you know, the shotgun, I saw it, it kind of cost a lot. It really probably wasn't worth it, and it didn't seem to do, like, a whole lot more damage. So I, I hope they do add more weapons and more clothes and things of that nature, but once again, the shotgun was pretty disappointing. It really wasn't that special, and I don't think it was actually worth it. I'd rather, I don't know, I guess I would buy that shotgun instead of other ones, but um, so far... You know, waiting this long for an update, they added one shotgun. That was relatively disappointing. Uh, they also added some new clothes, and a lot of the clothes I still think are like insanely expensive. I think the clothes should be a bit cheaper. It's uh, relatively hard to get money in Red Dead Redemption online, especially if you're just you know doing like normal missions and normal like hunting. Uh, you know, if you use glitches and exploits, yeah, you can maybe get you know some money easily if you grind them out. But overall, it is relatively difficult. And I don't think the clothes should actually be anywhere near how much they are. And apparently they're having limited time items. So I think that's kind of cool as well. But uh, hopefully they'll make some cool outfits and such. Uh, new emotes. I, I don't really think that's anything special. It seems like every company is just trying to copy Fortnite now with the emotes and aren't doing very well at it. Um, let's see, they added world enhancements. So I actually did like some of these they did. Um, easier parley and feuds. I think the feuds are still kind of poor. They should fix those, but I do like the new parley system. So as soon as you get killed once by a player, you can um, initiate a parley, which basically doesn't let them kill you for the next 10 minutes. So I think that's helpful. Uh, the feud system I think is really, really bad actually. Like it's just basically makes you and the person fight each other one-on-one -on -one, which i don't think is actually a good way to do that i think there were so many different directions they could have went with this that they could have just made it so much better like they could have just done a one-on-one -on -one, like shootout like that would have been cooler like they have that in the single player game there's some missions where you do that and i think they added something like that in the online gameplay that would be a lot more fun rather than just like having you just fight wherever you are currently just one-on-one -on -one a few times I, I i get it it might not be a bad idea but in actual gameplay it seemed kind of bad 
It just didn't seem like people were doing it right now. And they also updated player radar invisibility. Uh, I thought that was a good update. It was something that needed to be done um, to fix that kind of stuff a little bit. I some Sometimes, though, it, it seems... It, I, like I said, it's still in the beta, so I expect some of this stuff, but it seems a little bit glitchy. It seems like some of the stuff isn't the best there. Um, enhanced law and bounty system. I actually really like this. So beforehand, you could pretty much just farm lawmen to get XP super easy. You would just kill a couple because there's pretty much no consequence besides the lowering your honor if you were to kill a bunch of people, but that was probably worth the XP to most of us. So they actually improved that. So if you actually um, get a high enough bounty, so basically if you kill uh, some random people, um, you increase your chance of getting NPC bounty hunters. So I don't know actually how high your bounty has to be or anything like that. I may actually test that out, but uh, apparently if your bounty gets high enough, which is relatively difficult to get it high, I mean, you have to kill a pretty decent amount of people it's only anywhere i think it's like under like 50 cents per person you kill it's definitely like well under that i think it's anywhere from like 15 to 30 cent cents uh depending how many people you kill and if you get caught or not so um your bounty goes up relatively easy but one thing i do like about this as well if you do really petty crimes like like you uh slaughter animals or something like that or like just like uh assault or like unarmed assault things of that nature uh, disturbing the peace you actually get a significantly lower bounty like it's only like five cents or something like that so um, that's nice as well and uh, I you know I think they need to continue to update that and fix it see how it works and I think it would be better if uh, it says NPC bounty hunters will be able to get you so I think players should actually be able to get you um, that would be cool as well and uh, besides that they actually just like gave you a bunch of free stuff which was kind of nice they gave you like some snake oil bitters tonics revivers you know things of that nature uh, so that was nice i guess you know i would have probably rather some gold but i don't know and um also ps4 um get early access to jawbone knife which is cool i guess if you're into that so um ps4 players for whatever reason are getting some um new things but um overall I am relatively disappointed in this update. I think they could have added a lot more to it that they didn't. But the only positive about this is that they are supposedly adding weekly updates. So they're going to be just consistently updating it, which I, I do believe they are. Like, I don't think they would just say that if they're not going to actually do it. So we'll have to wait and see what they actually end up doing with that. And I really hope that, uh, you know, there's a ton of things they can update in this game. I mean, some obviously are just adding more missions, like in GTA 5 Online, you could, there's pretty much an infinite amount of missions that you could do, and uh, some are good, some are crappy, but just adding those, I think, would help a lot. Allowing players to actually be bounty hunters rather than NPCs, I think, would help a lot as well. Um, the daily challenges, I think, they just need to continue to improve and make them better and more, like, just, like, likable. Um, that would definitely help a lot. Um, I think they also need to make the players more um, more changeable and more creative with how they level up and how you can make your player different from others. So, you know, this current system they have is basically just using ability cards. Like, that's really the only way to make your character different and better. And I think they could definitely just update that system a lot. That is, like, very, very old school gaming with what they're doing with those ability cards. And um, one other thing that I really hope they uh, change is uh the posse feature as well as the camp feature so the camps and your posses i mean they're kind of cool in theory they're a good idea i really do think that but they definitely need to add what you can do to the camp i they, i was relatively actually disappointed in the single player um the very minimal updates you could do to your own camp and i really hope in online they make it a lot better. I mean, you should be able to basically craft your own mini town with those camps. That's what I personally think. I think that would be a lot cooler and, you know, basically give people incentive to do things like hunt. Because really the only things you could buy now, clothes, horses, and guns, you know, that are worth a decent amount of money, I should say. And then the very minimal camp upgrades as well. But I honestly right now wouldn't waste any money on that because they basically don't do anything. I think they need to add you know a better just better overall camping abilities like allow you to obviously move it like they do now but just allow you to upgrade the camp significantly more but anyways guys that's really it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed uh, definitely let me know in the comment section what you think about this update i personally was relatively disappointed but i do i am still uh, somewhat optimistic because red dead did say that they were going to continue to update it every single week so hopefully they actually do continue to do that and add some things that definitely need to be added to the game
But other than that, guys, that is totally it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you're new to the channel, I talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 online content, tips, tricks, guides, things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely head on my channel and consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.